Welcome back to the Digital Twin Hub. It's been nearly two months now since we launched the first series of Digital Twin Talks. The first series was looking at digital twin concepts, and what we mean is that is how are people interpreting what is meant by digital twins? Uh, what's going on in the space? How are people actually actioning their understanding? And why is it important that we do that? It's important that we do that so we can all have consistency in our understanding. To demonstrate the value that people placed on that, we had in excess of 100 unique views per video across that series. And that culminated in a, in a live interactive panel session, which was really well attended. And it was great to see, see the interest and passion people are placing in this. And that's really been echoed throughout the hub itself. We've now got an excess of 450 members. We've been able to extend to not just supporting asset owners, but supporting suppliers as well. And to make sure we can maximize the value uh, for the members, we've provided some of our own resources. Uh, and what I mean by that is we've got a foundation guide that we've published on there. That's there to help people get to a point of common understanding and a common footing that we can all start from. We've also got a digital twin register where people can register their digital twins, see what others are working on. And it gives us within the program an opportunity to identify where there may, may be gaps and how we can help and support that. We've done the same within the supplier space and got a supplier register that allows suppliers to register their, their, their services and lets um, other people see what's going on, what different suppliers are doing. And so what we're really now trying to do is allow the community to contribute their own resources, their own insights. And we're really starting to see some interesting and active discussions now, which really demonstrates uh, the importance people are placing on that. Today I'm, able to, I'm really happy to introduce the second series of Digital Twin Talks. This is around connected and connecting digital twins. And you might think we're jumping the gun a bit here, we haven't even got digital twins and we're already talking about connected digital twins. And we're not using this talk to talk about how people have solved it. We're looking at how we should consider it now so that we can take proactive steps up front so that we're able to anticipate and respond to the needs of connected digital twins when we reach that point in time. And with respect to that, we've managed to get an array of different speakers from uh, small and medium enterprises to, to large organisations, uh, to government, local authorities, research, uh, the programme itself for giving a talk. And we're going to get a huge array of different perspectives on that and what active steps have people taken. If they haven't taken active steps to, to consider this, why not? And how can we um, encourage them to make sure they are making those considerations? I'm not expecting everyone to agree across the series. In, in fact, I don't want them to because I want us and you as the, as the members to understand that this isn't a simple problem to solve. And there are many ways of approaching it and there's many right answers. So at the end, when we get to that panel session, I really want you to, to feel empowered to challenge the speakers, to make sure that we're all driving in the same direction to achieve the same outcomes. But we're making sure to take the best of different viewpoints uh, across that and make sure that we're therefore able to maximise the value. So I really hope you enjoyed this series and look forward to talking to you again in a few months. Thank you.